Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I recently did a tutorial showing how to transform this Harry Potter Hogwarts castle into this stormy scene using this photo I took at Universal Studios in Florida. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add realistic looking lightning in the sky. We'll create a new layer by clicking on the New Layer button. And then we'll go to the Gradient tool. Make sure the box that's highlighted goes from solid black to white. On the upper left of the screen, click down with your mouse or pen and drag down to the lower right corner. This will create a linear gradient. Go to Filter, Render, Difference Clouds. Press Ctrl I or Command I on a Mac to invert the image. There are areas of this high contrast image that resemble lightning, so we're going to bring them out now. Press Ctrl L or Command L on a Mac to bring up the Levels window. In the input levels, put the black at 200 and the midtones at 0.24. We're going to paint out the areas you won't be using and just keep the parts that you're going to use as the lightning. Press the letter B to get your brush and make sure you have black as your foreground color. Just paint away the areas you're not going to use. We'll go to the Layers panel and change the mode from Normal to Screen. Press Ctrl U or Command U on a Mac to bring up the Hue Saturation window. Check Colorize and slide the hue to a color that kind of resembles the sky. Press the letter E for the Eraser tool and start erasing away areas of the lightning that you're not going to use. Go to the Layers panel and click on the background. Go to the left of the screen and click on the Quick Mask button. We're going to brighten the areas at the top of the lightning, but protect the cloud above it. We'll grab our magnifying tool to get in closer to the steeple, and then reduce the size of our brush a little bit. We'll press Q to change our quick mask into a selection and then Control H or Command H on a Mac to hide it. We'll press on our little double arrow icon to reverse the foreground color. We'll change our mode from normal to soft light and bring our brush up to about 95 pixels and bring down the opacity to about 15% brightening the area of the lightning just under the cloud makes the cloud look so thick and dense that it's able to hide the intense light under it whose source is the lightning itself. Behind the cloud is so full of water and electricity we're going to give it an ominous greenish hue. Change the foreground color to an acid green and the mode from soft light to color. Bring down the opacity to about mm, 9%. Now start brushing in the color that'll give that electrically charged feel. Here is our stormy Hogwarts castle crackling with lightning. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Blue Lightning TV. There you'll find great tutorials, tips and tricks in Photoshop and After Effects.